Today is a special day. You know, we moved to Los Angeles in 2004. And um, when we moved here, we moved with no family, right? No friends. Uh, just me and my husband and uh, Choice. And then we had uh, one friend who moved with us, but it was just us. And um, we had no jobs when we came. We had about $8,000 that we had saved up. And... Uh, all we had was my dream of pursuing my acting career and praying to make it big one day. I remember the day he came home and said, babe, I met these two cool cops today, which was very rare for us coming from the South. Like we just didn't ever really encounter police officers the way he did that looked like him and talked like him and was cool. And uh, he was like, I think I wanna join LAPD. And I was like, really, babe? Like, yeah, you know, it's good good benefits, um, salary good. Then, you know, we wouldn't really have to worry about one income being shaky. Like, you would always be able to pursue your dream um, without having to have, like, a, a real steady career outside of acting. And I thought, okay, you know, uh, ain't nothing that my husband can't do. That's how I believe, you know. I believe if you want to do something, honey, try it out. That's the only way we're going to know if we're successful or not. And so I told him, I said, okay, babe, if you do this job, if you take on this journey um, in this career, give me five years. Because I still, as much as I supported him and was excited about it for him, the thought of my husband having to wear a bulletproof vest to work every day, um, and putting his line, you know, his life on the line for others uh, was commendable, but still scared me, you know? And so I said, you know what, give me five years back. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna get this acting thing, I'm gonna blow up, and then I'll take you out of there, you know? I'll retire you from LAPD, and then you can pursue something that you love, you know? A dream that you have, you know, as a black man. Um, and then also being an officer, it has been very tough. And when my husband went on this journey, he really felt like he could make a difference. And I know that he has in his community. I know that he has done his part, but I also know that it's time for him to dream again. And God has blessed us. He has blessed me that I can retire my husband, not five years, but 15. And honey, we are gonna take it, okay? That was Tabitha Brown. She was making some comments that Wendy Williams did not agree with this week and she made that known on her show. You know, Wendy Williams is such a sad, miserable woman. She's accomplished and successful, yet she's just pitiful. Tabitha Brown happens to be one of her latest targets. You know, a lot of people like Tabitha's video, except for the feminists, the bitter women, and people like Wendy Williams, they were just not in a celebratory mood. Short story, a couple of years ago, we finally attempted to follow Dr. Sabi's protocol, plant-based, vegan, extremely difficult for meat eaters. We had long removed the swine from our household, but we just wanted to take things further. Yeah, we lasted on the vegan train for about a year. During that time, I was introduced to Tabitha Brown. She was making videos encouraging veganism and showing different recipes. She went viral after trying out a new sandwich at Whole Foods, the TTLA, a vegan version of the BLT, but they added avocado to it. They no longer serve this, but when they did, Tabitha made a video on Instagram raving about the sandwich and how she ordered it and that motivated thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, to go out and get this sandwich. Even the meat eaters who were not vegan. Whole Foods, they definitely wasn't ready for it. They couldn't keep up with the demand. This is how big of an impact that Tapatha made on their business. In places like Atlanta, Georgia, they sold out like crazy. Miami seemed to have an abundance, but Atlanta would sell out quickly every day. Very large black population all credited to Tabitha's viral video. Whole Foods, they had no choice but to hire Tabitha as a brand ambassador. That one video she made garnered more support for them in that sandwich than any other ad campaign they had. 
after becoming popular, Tabitha became very successful and she's been able to trade her popularity for millions of dollars now. She basically hit the social media lottery, the jackpot. A lot of women hit this social media jackpot like Coach Stormy. I did a video on her a while ago, uh, our boss chick's wife material. Coach Stormy Wellington, she definitely isn't, but after she left Kevin Scanlon's show that day, um, she decided to give people advice on relationships, and horrible advice. If you missed that video, I will leave the link below in the description. And Supercent, she's another one. Supercent, she went viral on social media and flipped that into a multi-million dollar cosmetic brand. Super took herself out of the hood, but the hood is still in Super. She can't let it go. Although she's in a huge mansion, she still entertains the Pookie and the Ray Rays. Baby mom mama, multiple baby daddies, just like Stormy Wellington, and always on the internet exposing her relationship woes with one of her baby daddies. Tabitha is a lot different though, very decent woman. I believe she's been married to her husband for 18 years. They've been together for over 23 years. They have two kids together and her husband had a child from a previous relationship. Her husband, he just quit his job as you heard in the video as a police officer where he served for 15 years um, at the Los Angeles Police Department. Chance Brown, that's his name. Tabitha now, she wants her husband to be able to enjoy the success. She has her own seasoning out that she did in partnership with McCormick, that brand. She has a successful YouTube page, successful TikTok, Instagram, cookbook, a lot of money pouring into that household now. And her net worth is reportedly over $3 million. You know, Tabitha, she wanted her husband to quit that dangerous job and be able to relax now, just go ahead and retire. He had supported her for nearly two decades while she followed her dream of becoming an actress. She got a few very small independent roles, but she got looked over a lot out there in LA, even though she had an agent. And she didn't seem to garner any attention really until that Whole Foods video that went viral. Tabitha was quite happy about her husband's retirement, which is what she shared through the video I played at the beginning. However, Wendy Williams, the old bitter Betty, she was not supportive of Tabitha and her husband's decision. Here's what Wendy had to say. Uh, but there's this woman, her name is Tabitha Brown. Oh, you know her? Clap if you know her. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't know her. Well, she's an influencer and she's saying that she's retiring her husband. He's been a police officer for 15 years and he wants to live out his dreams. Nope. I was married to one of those. You know, I make the money and so on and so forth. Go live your dreams, buy a business, you know, stay with me, but go, go, go. You see how that turned out. I predict that this marriage is gonna be on real rocky ground in a moment. Live your dream. Then they invest in stuff and they lose the money. And then they invest in something else and the money gets swindled or stolen. And then they invest again, then he comes home and throws his bag down. And then he's like, and she's like, what, what? And he's like, I can't do this. And this is your fault. You're over here making all your money and stuff. You had me quit my job, and I can't find my live like a child. I, no, but you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, no, uh -huh. no, you work. Uh, being a cop was a big part of his identity. Uh, he liked it, but um, she came to him and said that. I. I understand where Wendy is coming from, where she says a man is supposed to work. Of course, we understand men are supposed to work and be the provider, but he was working a very stressful, dangerous job, provided for his family for 15 years while his wife pursued her dreams. He's the one who's made it possible for her to be creative, to make those Instagram videos and everything else that she's been doing. The only way this wouldn't work is if she was a mean-spirited, evil, condescending, or disrespectful person, which I don't believe Tabitha is. And maybe her live like a kid thing, bad choice of words, but I understand what she was trying to say. She basically won the social media jackpot. She hit the lottery. She's worth multiple millions now. Why would her husband still be going out to work such a dangerous job? Now, this is a woman on the other end, and the man recently hit it off and made a whole bunch of money. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. All of the women will then be saying how much the wife deserved to be able to access and benefit from the husband's money as well. So Tabitha, she responded to Wendy. 
Take a look. First of all, Wendy Williams, honey, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Um, and so people sent me a little clip and I said, oh my God, the pain this woman must be in. Wendy, the pain you must be in to feel this way and I'm so sorry. But listen, let me tell you this. Um, 23 years I've been with my husband. Yes, uh, broke for a very long time together. Struggled for a very long time together. Succeeded for the last couple of years together, right? Uh, my husband took a job in agreement with me. He took a job 15 years ago to help support my dream. And I know you may not know what that looks like in a genuine uh, place, right? Um, but this was an agreement that my husband and I had. And I told him 15 years ago, oh babe, in five years I'll be able to take you out of there so then you can pursue one of your dreams that you love. Right now, I was his dog in the fight, okay? And he believed in me. And we did it together for the last 15 years. I did every year with him at LAPD and he did every year with me with rejection and no's in this entertainment industry, right? However, God has blessed me. He has allowed me to manifest. I've been praying on this for a very long time and it has now come to pass. That is the power of God. It's also the power of allowing God to be first in your marriage, okay? Um, and that is how it remains successful. We keep him first. He is first in our marriage. Not money, not business, not success, but God. He's first, okay? Um, so this is my prayer for you. Uh, I pray that love finds you, true love. I pray it finds you and it holds you tight. I pray that someone will love you enough to see you, to see you, when you are not well, to see you when you need true support, to see you when you need compassion, to see you when you need kindness. I pray that somebody loves you enough to sacrifice their life for you. I pray that type of love binds you so that you can understand why. I don't want my husband to put his life on the line anymore wearing a bulletproof vest if he don't have to and if that's not his desire. So who's right here? Who's wrong? I'm gonna have to go with Tabitha here and support her. Wendy is very bitter and upset that she's old, lonely. Her husband of a few decades left her for his younger mistress, had a baby with her, and they are now living a seemingly peaceful and happy life together with their little daughter in Miami. Kevin Hunter, that's Wendy's ex-husband, posted this on social media. He wrote, me and Sharina are soulmates that means we riding. Megan and Tyrese, waist deep. Omar and Sanai, love and basketball, etc. My partner, my homie, my lover, my friend. I'm not married. Never sitting in a courtroom again over love. But we Gucci as F. Carry on. Wendy's ex, he posted that. And his baby mama, the woman he's with now, Sharina, she reposted it. And it really got me thinking, when bitter Bettys like Wendy, they get burned, they love projecting that negative energy on other women. Tabitha has a great, positive family. Why would Wendy need to project her toxic femininity and her situation onto Tabitha Brown? Tabitha is obviously way different from Wendy Williams, and she and her family, they're happy, they're loving their results. And it looks like old Kevin Hunter and Sharina they're enjoying theirs too. Sharina started a YouTube page. She also has a vegan pancake mix brand. It's only three ingredients, three. It was derived from Dr. Sebi's alkaline diet, which is the holy, we will say, in our community. I just feel like that I wanted to make sure that I created the same taste as the home brought, mama brought, grandma brought, just that feeling where you wake up to that smell, that same fluffy, that crispy edges that you can, you know, just indulge in. And not only that, that it's healthy, healthy for your temple, your body, that you're able to digest well and you're able to, you know, get the energy that is needed after you eat. And the vegan transformation, like I said, it saved my life. There was a point where I couldn't explain that my headaches, um, my stomach problems, I went to every doctor you probably think of and nobody could give me an explanation. And after I met my mentor, which Dr. Stevie, he told me to do a cleanse. 
Other than that, Sharina and Kevin, they spend their time eating healthy, working out, enjoying their daughter. Kevin seems to be much happier with Sharina now that he's finally away from his toxic ex-wife, Wendy. You know, Wendy thought Sharina was the peasant. A lot of women on these internet streets didn't understand why Kevin would pick a woman with no name, no popularity, no money, and literally leave his famous wife worth tens of millions of dollars for her. By the way, Wendy is still having to pay Kevin money because he was her manager for years and also held an executive position on her talk show, and he was part owner of her production company. So Wendy, she wasn't able to just run off with the bag and have all the money to herself, you know. I guess that's what equality looks like, right? That's why ladies, be careful what you ask for. More and more of you are starting to be on the other side of the field, experiencing what divorced husbands have been going through for quite some time now. But hey, this is what you wanted, feminism, equality. At the end of the day, Sharina and Kevin, they are happy and in love. Tabitha Brown and Chance Brown, they're happy and in love after over 20 years. Tabitha and Chance. This is what black love looks like. Duty, service, loyalty to each other, no egos, no pride, humility, and sacrifice. You know, everyone seems to be happy with their choice in all of this, except for Wendy. Wendy. How you doing? Hey, I need y'all to make sure you support this channel. Want more pink book lessons? Hit up the Cash App. I want to give a shout out to everyone who's been donating. My brother, Sagittarian Prince, Isaac, Robert, Obi, my sister Jasmine, Michael, Isada, Desmi. All of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to support like them, the link to the Cash App is in the description. Ladies, fellas, want a balanced analysis on topics like this? go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, select all for notifications, and don't forget to like and share.